We're going to go over to Christine mm -hmm. now, uh, who has a bit of a sweet treat in store uh -oh. for you. Here we go. Finger sandwiches and dainty cakes. There's no satisfying our appetite for afternoon tea. Sales have gone up by 50% over the last two years, but it was the upper classes who first got a taste for it. Grant Harold certainly knows how to hold a cup of tea. He's a retired royal butler, now an etiquette expert. Afternoon tea is credited to the 7th Duchess of Bedford, Duchess Anna Maria, who famously in the 1840s was horrified to discover that the, the gap between lunch and dinner was so great that she didn't think she could survive the whole afternoon without having something. She asked for some tea and some sandwiches and possibly some cake to be brought to her. It caught on. The royal family, the aristocracy embraced this idea and that this tradition has, has lasted the, through time. Word spread amongst the chattering classes and pretty soon everyone wanted their own slice of sophistication. So when Swiss baker and confectioner Fritz Butzer came to England seeking his fortune in 1907, he cooked up the idea of opening a tea room. Luckily for the people of Yorkshire, he ended up in the spa town of Harrogate where he opened the first Betty's Cafe in 1919 and it's been on this same street for over 100 years. As for the name over the door, well, that's still a mystery. Queen of the Fancies counter is Karen Mirren, and she's been keeping locals and tourists sweet for the past 18 years. One of the biggest sellers, of course, is the Fat Rascal. And what is a Fat, fat rascal? rascal? It is a mixture between a rock bun and a scone. So have you seen any changes? I've seen... Um, it, it has changed, but in a gentle manner. We keep the stable of the Swiss finesse, the yeah. Yorkshire warmth and welcome. You see, it's true up north. If you give it love and care and attention, folks will always come back. Well, we must be doing something right, mustn't we? This is still a family business, and this bakery, just two miles from the tea room, employs over 80 people, carefully handcrafting around 160 different sweet treats seven days a week. And one of the longest serving members of the team is chocolatier Robin Kendall. How long have you been here, Robin? I've been here now 47 years. 47 years? Yeah. You must have been out with a little kid. Just to a, a mere 15 years old. I heard about a job at Betty's and came. When I saw what people were making, yeah. I was enthralled by that. Today, he's showing me how he makes a delicate chocolate artwork that goes on top of a cake. Sometimes it's better if you go slightly at speed. Right. Mm, very clever. And that's all we do. That's what we do. So why has afternoon tea stood the test of time? I think it's the tradition. It just takes you back. Everything is so modern now, and wherever you go, you feel a little bit sort of left, as if you're left cold. It's just such a nice experience. Now, where are those fat rascals? Oh, well, <laughs> I love a bottomless cream tea. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely finished. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs>